everyone, it's Sarah with RegisteredNurseRN.com and today I'm going to go over nursing supplies. I'm going to go over the top items you're going to need whenever you're starting nursing school, especially clinicals. I'm going to go over everything from stethoscopes to blood pressure cuffs to dressing scissors to name badge holders and I'm going to give you the ultimate list of everything you need to have whenever you're starting nursing school. So let's get started. A blood pressure cuff with a spigomomanometer. Whenever you're in nursing school, this is something that you will definitely need because you will be learning how to take manual blood pressures, which is something whenever you become a nurse that you will use. Compression stockings. As a nurse and a nursing student, this is essential to help prevent leg fatigue, prevent varicose veins, and just help give you better circulation support while you're on your feet for those long 12-hour shifts. Dressing scissors. This is something that I use so much as a nursing student and a nurse. Not only do I use them to change wounds, but I use them to open up difficult medication packaging or other little miscellaneous usages. So it's a really good idea to invest in a simple pair of dressing scissors. A drug book. As a nursing student, you're going to be unfamiliar with a lot of drugs and even whenever you become a nurse. So having a little drug book that you can stick in your pocket or keep close by just for a reference whenever looking at patients' drugs will really help you a lot in preparing for NCLEX and just knowing about what different drugs patients take. A lab coat. A lab coat is definitely something that's going to be required with your uniform with nursing school. Usually the nursing school wants you to have their little emblem on the side as a patch or in the front. Also a lab coat is great whenever you become a nurse. You can reuse it and it'll keep you warm. It has extra storage space to keep your stethoscope, papers, alcohol prep pads, everything you need. So investing in a good lab coat is a great idea. NCLEX study guide. This is essential for passing your nursing boards. I really recommend the top brands on the market are either Saunders or Kaplan. Uh, it gets you a good study guide that comes with questions that you can practice over and over. You can also use this in preparing for your lecture exams in nursing school because each section has a great review of things you need to remember that will probably be on your exam. A tote bag. Here you'll see a feminine looking tote bag and then a masculine type tote bag. Boys, girls, either one, investing in a good tote bag to keep your items separate from your home items is a great idea because things you're carrying back and forth from the hospital may not be as clean as other things that you wouldn't carry in a hospital. And plus you can just keep everything organized and keep everything in this bag, your badge, your stethoscope, scissors, anything you need and it's all here in just one little package and you can take it back and forth with you. Nursing shoes. This has to be one of the top items on this whole list. In order to get through those 12 hour, 10 hour shifts, because as a nurse you are on your feet a lot, you are going to need to invest in some comfortable nursing shoes. I really recommend you go to a local store that supplies nursing shoes, try on the shoes, see which one feel great on your feet because we have everyone, shoes fit people differently. Like for instance, nursing mates may not be comfortable on one person and they prefer dance co so always try on different shoes but invest in a pair of shoes that you like that are stylish and that feel great to your feet a nursing watch investing in a nursing watch is essential because as a nurse you have to know how to manage your time we literally we whenever we're working our shifts we go by the clock we look to see what time medications are due what, what time I have to check vitals and having a good watch that helps convert to military time because as a nursing student you may not be familiar with military time and it can help you keep track of that. Also these watches help with the date and time because as nurses we date and time everything. So investing in a good watch is essential. A pin light. Pin lights, I think, are one of the most underused tools that we use as nurses, but they're so essential in checking neurostatus, looking at mucous membranes. So investing in a good pin light, they're cheap, can really go a long way as a nursing student. 
Nursing scrubs, one of the most exciting things that you get to buy as a nursing suit because it makes you feel official because you're wearing the nursing uniform. Many schools require that you wear a certain color so you'll have to buy a color or whenever you get a job, your hospital or wherever you work may let you wear whatever you want or they may have you color coded. So make sure you always check with what color you're supposed to get, but go with the brand that's comfortable for you. I really recommend as with the shoes, you go to a nursing store that supplies these scrubs and that you try them on, see how they fit you. How, how could you spend 12 hours in these? Always ask yourself that when you're trying these scrubs on. So always invest in nursing scrubs. A stethoscope. This is one of the most important tools that we nurses use. It's a simple tool, but it tells us so much about the status of our patient, especially respiratory status. Are you hearing crackles? Are you hearing wrong guy? Does your patient need to be suctioned? Are they in fluid overload? By using our stethoscope, that helps us. Also, listening to bowel sounds, heart sounds, very essential tool. Top brands out there are Litman. A lot of people love their Litmans and prestige. Again, I really recommend that you try these different stethoscopes out, see which ones you can hear better with, which ones you like, and go with that. But a good stethoscope is so essential, especially as a nursing student whenever you are first learning. A badge holder. I really recommend that you go with a retractable badge holder because as nurses, we are having to clock in, clock out. We have to slide our badge to access certain areas of the hospital. And as students, we have to do this as well. So it's just a good idea to get a little retractable badge that you can just pull and slide so you don't have to unclip and clip your badge because that increases the chances of you losing it. And also just a badge holder helps keep your badge away from areas like if you were changing a patient, keep it out of things that are really highly contaminated. So a good badge holder is essential. A nursing care plan book. In nursing school, we do care plans and on the job we do care plans. So before you can really get really comfortable with a care plan, I'd recommend that you have a little handheld care plan book and whenever you're doing your care plan say you have a patient come in with a respiratory issue you can just flip open that care plan book and you can just look at some diagnoses that might that patient might meet and that can be a great reference guide for you so investing in a good care plan book is essential a clipboard and pens Clipboards are really important because they can help you keep track of patients' papers, help you keep track of your report sheets, of things you have to do. It just keeps everything just organized because I don't know how many times on a shift I've misplaced the paper inside my med card or inside a pocket I didn't know, but my clipboard would help me keep it organized. And pens. Always have extra pens in your pocket because as nurses, we are constantly signing things having to time and date things and a lot of times people will come accidentally and swipe your pens or your pen will run out of ink so investing in pens is really important and last but not least this is mainly for you ladies out there extra hair clips if you have long hair and you are working your 12 hour shifts. I've had many times where my hair clips have broken and if I didn't have an extra hair clip, I'd have been in trouble because keeping your hair up keeps it out of germs and just out of the way and allows you to work more efficiently. So always have in your little tote bag some extra clips, extra hair ties, just in case your hair clips break down or a colleague, hair, colleague needs some hair clips or hair ties. So that was the ultimate list that you will need whenever you are going to nursing school. A lot of these items will co carry over into your job so you can use those as well. I hope you like this video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.